welcome back. This is Don from a birthday weekend. We are in high fighting league. Just ready for the next battle of the day. Please make some noise. Let's go. Shouts to Hi-Fi, shouts to Pyramid, Stylus, everybody else as well. We're about to get into this next battle. This is going to be yet another end of year best newcomer battle. Shouts to Heretic. Wait, it was always a Heretic winning it last year. Shouts to Heretic. Smashed it. Big up Heretic. Uh, and then this year we decided we would pick the two best people who have the best performances all year from last November to this November. Same thing, the winner gets the official title of best newcomer to get international battle next year. Hopefully a uh, top tier UK battle as well next year. But anyway, they both fucking smashed it. So whoever wins, they're both dope as fuck. MC on my right hand side, he has killed it all year. Dank Schrader, make some noise. <laughs> Left hand side, same shit, killed it all year. Bobby Rex, make some noise. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We have uh, five mixed panel of judges and shit. We have three rounds on the clock. Bobby is gonna go first round and one by whenever you want. Let's go. So when they told me Dank was my opponent, I raised my brow. <laughs> like, really? This is the guy that you have chosen to take me out? Okay, then let's get it popping and you can watch me take his head off like a bottle of Schrader Brow. Mm. And we're mates. For now. But wait till I start talking about that bitch he made a vow to love, protect and honour and call her a lazy cow. Because <laughs> he does everything for her. <laughs> Makes a dinner, sits her down at the table. He even tucks in her paper towel. So <laughs> And I hate it how she treats him like he's a servant just because she's been working. He's got a job as well, and while he's out delivering his pizzas, trying to be a decent person, <laughs> she's getting fucked over the neighbor's couch. He comes home and she's complaining, ouch, my knees are hurting. <laughs> he still doesn't think that she's a cheater, but how can you be so certain? And I'm sorry to talk about your marriage, bro, but now that we're friends, I just don't want to see you hurting. <laughs> You're already not the most confident of fellas, and I don't want your self-esteem to worsen. See, over the past year, me and Dank, we become actual friends. <laughs> but tell me if I'm lying, bro. I have to walk him to the train station after events. <laughs> And not just in Manchester, when we went to London, he didn't want to make his wife mad because she's hench. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to walk him to the train station and walk back on my jack through the ends, even now. We are in his home city and I guarantee that after this is finished, he will ask me again. <laughs> but what kind of man has to depend on another man to make him feel safe? And can we even class them as men? Ooh, uh, Answer me then! <laughs> like a big boy. I'll smash it short <laughs> I'm here to smash his defence to bits, there's no way that he's matching my pen. He'll get smacked and left down for the count like Renfield. I'm way better than he's give me credit for. What, just because I don't spit a million similes and metaphors? Maybe I just think that less is more. I'm just here to entertain a crowd, make his laugh and maybe get applause. I mean, is this really all that serious? Cause if it is, then let me know when I am set for war. I'm already bored of all these lesser mortals. You need to let me step up levels more. I'm ready for them. Yes, I fucking am. And I want to be in the upper echelons as well. <laughs> Pretending that I'm dead important. And beating you today, that's just another step towards them. Then you can go back to being a specky fucking dark. <laughs> Go back to being a specky fucking dark that battles by texting in a forum. <laughs> Come on, Rhea. <laughs> Yo, we so tight, we like bros, right? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't lie, that rounds so tight. But when I spit them bars, it ain't nothing for me to kill a family member, man. I'm Chris Benoit. And this pen. <laughs> this pen, hard. All my punches are enormous. And his pen, nah, it's just all fucking performance. You say nothing important. While there's quotables every time that D's rapping, I've been spazzing. I'm here to go nuts in your face. That's tea bagging. <laughs> I get sick of them B rabbit, trying to punch more than B magic. I'll smack the side of his box and scramble that hard man image if he try and show me static. Nah, cause mm -hmm. he's massive. <laughs> so if we scrapping, I'ma grip a pint glass and swipe fast, stick a mug in his mug. It's like I got a period fetish. Why is that? Cause I'm coming for blood. <laughs> We've been running a month. Yo, nah. 
<laughs> now we've been running amok, but you ain't improved since you took that win from evil. Well, I've been leveling every battle, cause to me, defeat don't feel right. Like I got pins and needles. <laughs> Now I know you want to Briggs these people, but it's still strange your shares the next meal on Bob's plate. I mean, shouldn't his career be on thin ice going downhill fast once I leave Bob Slade? You are not, you are not great. If innuendo hadn't a chalk ain't a chance you'd have had that boy handled and on beat, pressed did you dirty like a tabloid scandal. You look like a mad Troy Daniels, and that's a bad look. <laughs> when dank raps think black cats cross me and it's bad luck, cause I got the strap tucked. Nah, I ain't been grinding like shocks, I've just been writing a lot. That's why I mean with the shit, so from the first bar I've had this cunt eight, yet yeah, you've been getting licked. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, now, you, now you're decent at this, but dank straight, damn straight, I'm a beast with the scripts, ask heretic, I ghost wrote him half around while I was sleeping in sick. <laughs> Pen so crazy it's been to a shrink, or well, you so basic you should be writing in pencil, but that hard act they rate it, you suck and get gassed up like siphon in petrol, I won't stop till I'm writing perfection, while he's be singing with Rawls and rapping in Scottish. It's got him a little buzz, but would he beat me? Nah. Next round, I'ma put Rex in a box like when Andy's packing for college. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. 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 Said I got beat by press one. But you thought that really hurt then? <laughs> I didn't lose. I beat myself that night like I didn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Bobby Rex, it's not a character. I have never stood up here and lied to you. Honesty is the policy, and to tell the truth, I was struggling to write for this. And I don't know why. Maybe it's because Dank Trader's become a friend of mine, and I don't want him to die for this. Now I feel tight because I've gone from wanting his name to take off to being the reason that the flight's at risk. My fist is getting clenched tighter with every line he spits. If I throw one right, then it's good night. It's like a guided missile aimed at the place where ISIS lives. I am his worst nightmare. He couldn't beat me in his wildest dreams. So why does it seem that a lot of you guys in the scene are saying that my writing's not as nice as his? If that's the case then why is this only the second time these pricks even made the main channel? Damn right you newcomer of the year but not stood up here they should have had a separate title to decide it with a training date. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm the best, I, I, I'm the best newcomer you little fucking wanker. <laughs> from the same crop then watch me cut him down to size and with just one line you'll see me leave Dank out to dry how dare you doubt that I could smoke weed how dare you doubt that I could smoke this little weed I know it's not the best thing for Dank but right now his only hope is if he leaves yeah. <laughs> you know weed bars because of his name and the fact that all he does is sits at home smoking bongs and skinning reefers only time he's moved food in the streets is when he's delivering his pizza <laughs> been in trouble with the police. Shit, I was locked up at 16 and not just for little misdemeanors. Not that I think that's big or clever, I'm just saying. There's differences between them. <laughs> like I'm mates with Shocks, a real rapper. He's got me spitting on some features. Your mates with Yorks. <laughs> My mates with shots, a real rapper, he's got me spitting on some features. Your mates with Yorks, who does your photo shots and designs your gimmicky fucking t-shirts. <laughs> See, there's differences between us, Dan. When you spit a gun bar, people laugh because it's daft and it's stupid. I can't spit gun bars, because if it kicks off, I'm expected to pull out a strap and to fucking actually shoot. <laughs> I will happily talk about grabbing a rapper and slapping him, stupid. Yeah, but that's all you do is talk, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you do is talk, Bobby. You never actually do shit. Well, feel free to end this friendship right now and just fucking ask me to prove it. Because I swear you'll be going to sleep until at least next Saturday afternoon. If I hit you, you'll be hitting the ground faster than Akabusa. Your wife, your wife is a fat slag and floozer with the hugest, most massive booty. That'll do for round two. More proof that I am better than you. Get to food. <laughs> Yo, 
so they say I'm nice, but there ain't a chance I'm matching Bobby. Well, fuck that when this Brer Raps think bear traps. I was built for snapping and catching bodies. No. You ain't getting past me, Bobby. The door barber, go harder, the floor sharper. I'm getting him pissed, because when I spit quotes, I slip throats like Goldschlager. No. You pretty much call press one Osama. He's so racist, but we'll get to that. For now, I'm just gonna outright him, because your pen, I got no respect for that. This Dexter Morgan, to Dexter's lab. Cause any science that you drop is pretty basic, right? And any time they put a killer in front of me, I'm gonna take his life. I'm back snapping, break his spine, get up in his face on a mean flex. How does that feel, Rex? Then roar on him, I got your whole style down to a T, Rex. <laughs> It's about to get deep, Rex, because I got a personal on him that'll really fuck him up. Because he's been cheating on his missus. Yeah, you such a slut. There's even video evidence of when you bust a nut. Join your second battle while evil touched you up. <laughs> <laughs> if that was me, I'd have fucked him up just to teach him a lesson. Bobby dragged him down a dark alley. Then took evil inside him like a demon possession. <laughs> he's been in your rectum. <laughs> <laughs> so now your girl don't love you. She be coming round my yard to get piped hard, taking dank up her ass like a drug mule. <laughs> but she sucks too. Every time I take her home, I get the dome. In the whip cruising extra slow. Getting brain on the roll like the technodrome. Technophobe. He can barely even turn a PC on. So out of touch every time that he sees Tox, he walks up like, what's good? It's the me, me god. <laughs> You think you'll beat me, Bob? Get to fuck. The only time I lose is when you get to judge. Because <laughs> you voted for Jay Dillon over your mate. You've a Judas type, but me, I'm uber nice. I don't even want you to lose tonight. I want you to lose your life. So, so which fake weapon do you want? You decide. I can use the knife or blow text. Either I'll have him stuck or the stick. I'll have Rex running like go fetch. You are no threat. There ain't a chance you're leveling my quill. This pennies to five bills, machetes to rifles, Janetti to Michaels. Newcomer of the year, go and get me the title. Dan Trade is a fucking paedophile. Yes. <laughs> now you might not believe that, but it's the woman that he's married to that actually gave me the file. <laughs> In fact, I found out the woman that he's married to, she's the child. <laughs> facts, all facts. She was only a teenager when he met her. He'd been out his teens a while. Approached her with an eager smile, looking so extremely vile. <laughs> she was only 15, he was 20, 21. You might think that that's acceptable, but you are very, very wrong. <laughs> At 15 years old, she's an easy target for the bigger lads. And didn't you tell me she was drunk as well? I'm not gonna lie, mate, this is pretty bad. <laughs> if, you had a little, if you had a little lad, is this how you hope that your son grows up? Youngest girl I ever slept with, she was 17, and I was only four months old. <laughs> and he'll be like, <laughs> but she's at home right now, I stayed with her. And I'll be like, wait, slow it down and change the words. Just because she's older now doesn't mean you ain't a purse. <laughs> Just because she's older now doesn't mean you ain't a purse. Wait, slow it down and change the words. Did you have to hold it down to make it work? Slow it down and change the words. Did you tell her close her mouth or you would make her hurt? Great! Slow it down and change the words. Did you have to choke her out? Cause that's basically shit, I don't even want to say the word. <laughs> and you might be like, Russ, you can't say that to your mate, but wait, I'm about to get much ruder. You might have made her your bride a few years down the line, but still she was only 15 when you groomed her. <laughs> And I know that, and I know that he wrote some pretty balls for this, but really what's left to say? So you waited until her 16th birthday, that just means that she was 15 like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and, for anybody, and for anybody that's asking how can I be so harsh, fitting all these pedo bars, please don't, because all these years later, she str she's still struggling to heal those scars. I even asked her myself why she won't charge. And she said, well back then I really loved it. He was picking me up from school because he drove cars. <laughs> He was, 
he was picking me up from school because he drove cars. And then he'd buy me a Happy Meal every time that Mr. Smith gave me three gold stars. <laughs> Inside, he's trapped, there's no way of ever getting her out. And if you vote for him as best newcomer, you're basically saying that these sex pests are allowed. <laughs> it's up to you, like, isn't it? Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, I've finished. Is that you? Right, I finished. You both finished. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on. Yo, so I met my missus a week before her 16th birthday. I can't deny that. But I didn't get with her to where she was sure illegal. No, I'm, I'm stumbling because it's sort of true, isn't it? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but I didn't get with her till way after she was legal. And let's be honest, in this day and age, what 16 year old girl don't want to try a dank? No, no, Your schemes suck. Hey, yo, uh, next event you book me on, you better make it 14 plus. Because <laughs> 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 it's like it's, it's not a true song. Hey, yo, you can find him on Viewpoint making posts like, I slept on his sofa. Oh, she's my mate. What? Two battlers have formed a friendship? <gasps> no friggin' way. <laughs> Bobby Rex. Shocks his friend. Type of guy to post a status whenever shot he texts him. Forget Bobby Brexit. <laughs> Forget Bobby Brexit. You need to change your rap name to Bobby Begsit. No. Talking about humble brags. Well, I get backed by Thesaurus while you only got a name off the back of your daughter into videos you force her. Trying to show there's a heart behind this cold savage. Plus she distracts from the fact your bars are so average. So are you gonna show dank shit? I'm sick with my rhyming. You think your style's frightening? Take away the performance, you can't even eclipse a child's writing. And speaking of daughters, if innuendo would have talked about mine like he did yours, I'd have stuck a knife in his back. What did Big Bad Bobby do? I heard Briggsy were putting on some two on twos, thought he'd invite him to rap. <laughs> if one night at her flat your wife is attacked, left rape with her knickers down, he'll be on the quick hunt for the sick hunt. And once he finds him, he'll see if he fancies a kick about. <laughs> Battling, you need to quit it now, because you rap it basic, slow it down, change the words. I said you're a massive racist. Because <laughs> against press, you said, I'm not racist, it's just my battle persona. Well, that's a straight okay. lie. You did, I know. That's, that's a straight lie. What's next? You're gonna try to convince us that outside of the ring, Liv Winter doesn't really hate guys. <laughs> <laughs> Your views ain't right. He's like, but I love a Chinese, yeah. You just never date the women. He thought Blackpool was a place for segregated swimming. <laughs> Missus, he'd take her on a dream holiday. <laughs> Any place in Britain. And that's fucked, bro, because you came on with two travel brochures. The Isle of Wight and Ku Klux Klan Dudno. <laughs> <laughs> on beats, he's nuts, though. My guys are great. You can catch him spitting tight rhymes for days. At a white pride parade. <laughs> you put the Zeke Heil in freestyle. <laughs> Yo, picture him in the booth, trying to spit the truth to the Hitler youth. <laughs> See, facts hurt, don't they? So we have the worst friendship ever. <laughs> Bobby Rex, the only hot spitter with a swastika. sticker. Yo, my man is Jewish, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he finds other races mad disgusting, refuses to even learn the host name. Just every time he daps him up, he thinks, er, because he's had to touch him. <laughs> he's, he's glad that Trump's in. He thinks he's the best. <laughs> He thinks he's the best. He spends his nights drinking white lightning and night writing his dream screenplay. American history Rex. <laughs> I'm taking the victory Rex because my pen been doper. So that's three rounds. You, you probably got two. You got the second one, but three rounds. <laughs> two, two, one, 
friendship all. <laughs> First round was a bit hard to call. I'd say that was kind of a draw. I can even say that. Um, yeah. Um, second round, Bobby Rex, and then I was kind, kind of. It was still kind of tight. I was going to judge it on the third. It was still kind of tight, but yeah, I feel like Bobby kind of swung it because of uh, not as bad. <laughs> kind of, the kind of mind fuck the judges into. So yeah, we can't really condone that. So Bobby Rex. Was good. What's good, Dundee? Um, very fucking close battle to judge. I think. Dang, first round, hands down. Like Bobby didn't pick up the second round a bit. Um, second round was pretty even for me, so I kind of came down as a third. And I think Bobby shit just hit me a little bit harder. Um, edge. Edge to Bobby Rex. Chip. No, do that PS5, it's a mad close battle there, like, I think someone called it in the battle when they said, like, this is, um, playing a game versus performance or something, I don't know if I go to that extreme, but yeah. Gantz had, like, I guess some nicer bars and, and, and stuff, and I've really been feeling him in his first and second round. I thought, overall, he's maybe edging the battle going into the third, but I don't know if I'd say he's clearly ahead. In the third, I thought Rex is kind of eating him still, and, like, I don't want to be on the wrong side of Savile game, so I'll go with Bobby Rex, bless. Yeah, I think it's a very close battle actually. I thought Dank took the first quite literally. I thought Bobby took the second quite literally. And third, maybe I'm going to be controversial here, but I thought Dank took the third. I mean, notwithstanding any like allegations and all that, I thought the way that Dank came back from it, despite the, the sort of awkward flex. <laughs> I thought like he, he still managed to kind of dominate in sort of the comedic uh, way, like really, really, really creative angles in the third, just creative ways of flipping like the racer shit. Um, so I think yeah, the third is like a very contentious one, but I think that just about is the third and therefore we don't Mr. Um So for the first, I thought that was an extremely close round. I had uh, Bobby Rex taking that just slightly. Um, the, uh, Dank had those, you know, like, come, like, pins and needles to feet don't feel right. It was, it was cool. I, I was, it was okay. Um, it was, it was, and then for the second, I thought Dank took that clearly. Um, I thought that was his strongest round. I thought he definitely took that clearly. And then for the third, um, I had Bobby Rex taking it just slightly. I don't think Dank kind of stumbled on his rebuttal. He gained momentum as the round went on. And I thought Bobby Rex took that with the angle in the third. I thought he executed it well. And the whole, like, and it's up to you lot in it, I thought that, that defense kind of worked for him really well. So I got 2 1 Bobby Rex. Yo, we're back here at Dota Flop ABW. We had the 2016 Best Newcomer of the Year battle. Please give up for both the newcomers. Woo! panel of judges, they all deliberated and it went 4-1 to Bobby Rex. Yeah. 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 Yeah.